<laughs> Before, when we lived in the house of grasses, while raining, we had to seek a room where we do not get wet. There was no kitchen either, but they built the living house, kitchen, toilets, and sheltered them with iron sheets. We are Nibobans Province, Manda Commune, exactly in Mohazi. Here there is a family of four members, including the widow mediatrist Nichoi Tungie and her children Bertin, Deimana, Nadia Naishaki, and Kevin Foranzima. This family used to live with no hope, much worries, and wondering why they were created because of different problems that had them. But through AGA, Association des Jeunes en Action, or Youth in Action Association and Sharon Kazamiami Foundation, now the family members feel loved and have hope for the future. My name is Mediatris Nichoi Tungie. This is not my native place. We came here from Ngozi province. The neighbors welcomed us until we get this small land and build our own small house. After a few years, my husband died. That time, the house we lived in was destroyed by torrential rain. We took grasses at shelter and put on four small pillars. It was bad you understand, but it was the only option. It was like the nest of birds. On the verge of raining, it was like a roaring lion before us. The house was sheltered by these grasses and the leaks were everywhere. You can't understand how big burden is from staying up a whole night, two or more consecutive nights with children around me crying and crying. Fortunately, those young people paid me a visit one day and told me, we're going to build a house for your family. I couldn't believe it. I was hopeless. Sharon Hazamiami is encouraging and teaching them to put God first and always help one another as the AGA members did. The administrator's advisor in charge of infrastructure thanks a lot to Sharon Hazamiami Foundation and those young people for their initiative. I really thank AGA members for this work and the gentleman Sharon Hazamiami for having shattered this house with iron sheets. I remained with the problem of not having any activity of generating income that can help me educate the children. Pray for me to overcome it. I thank God first for all he has done for us and to whoever prays God lacks nothing. You are blessed and may God bless you more and more and enable you to do a such good thing to many as possible. <laughs> <laughs>